Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. The great merchant ships with their cargoes of Arcturian solar crystals felt safe and secure. I love how at some point in history they just looked at old-fashioned frigates and said, this is the peak design for any vessel, we are not going to top this. And the most feared of all these pirates was the notorious Captain Nathaniel Flint. You know, if this movie were made today, the monster fuckers would be all over this guy. Michaela, they're probably already all over that guy. How do you think Captain Flint did it, Mom? How would he swoop in out of nowhere and vanished without a trace? Transwarp conduit, he's the Borg. <laughs> This looks like unused concept art from Jack and Daxter. No! Now this is pod racing. Ah, my Alponian chowder with the extra Solaris seed. Mmm, yum. Is he like a big thing in the furry community? How, how would either of us know that? What are you implying, KP? But I really think that he's starting to turn a corner. Mrs. Hawkins. Jim! Ooh. This is why you don't tempt fate, because she has no self-control. Uh, I have a clipping. Are you the boy's father? Oh, what? no. Good heavens, no. no. <laughs> How would the two of them make a perfectly normal human child? You've seen Bonnie. Felon like, felon, fellow, fellow like Jim. Managing it. I'm at the end of my rope. Sounds like you need help. Go meet a nice girl, Mrs. Hawkins. That'll solve everything. Worked for me. Come on, give me your arm. <sighs> That's it. Mom's gonna love this. Mom, I found a pirate. Can I keep him? I promise I'll feed him and take him on raids. I can't let them find this. Who's coming? The cyborg. If only we had Kate Mulgrew, we'd have that cyborg tamed in five episodes tops. <laughs> That's some pretty triumphant music for watching your livelihood burn to the fucking ground. Even with my vast experience and superior intellect, it would take me years to unlock its hay. Unbeknownst to Dilbert, Jim is a Rubik's Cube champion. It's totally preposterous, traversing the entire galaxy alone. Now at last we hear some sense. That's why I'm going with you. Nobody has her back on this and it's great. <laughs> So what kind of pitch meeting was this? So the spaceport is the moon. Oh, it's on the moon? No, it is the moon. It's a crescent-shaped spaceport. How does that work, like, logistically? It's a movie, Mr. Eisner. The captain's aloft. Oh, captain, my captain. Jesus fucking Christ. She's wearing form-fitting thigh-high boots, KP. What the fuck do you want from me? You know, KP, I think your earlier assumption was right. I apologize for lashing out. Check this ship from stem to stern and as usual it's spot on can you get nothing wrong you flatter me looks like you got some competition Michaela in front of this particular crew demonstrates a level of ineptitude that borders on the imbecilic and I mean that in a very okay who the fuck made Valithria a cat who's done this and doctor again with the greatest possible respect Zip your howling screamer. I just found my new perfect phrase. Expect me to wear this clip into the ground throughout 2020. I assure you, Let I- Let me make this as monosyllabic as possible. She is just a perpetual fucking mood. No, I said something rather good this morning before coffee. A ludicrous parcel of driveling galoots, ma'am. There you go. Poetry. She is so fucking smug and I love it. This young lad is Jim Hawkins. Jim Bowles. Ah. <laughs> Don't touch it, he'll assimilate you. See to it, the new cabin boys kept busy. Oh, but, but no, no, you but, can't. I mean, the lads just... They're like siblings being told to get along or they're in trouble. Brace yourself, Doctor. <laughs> she was not facing the slightest. God, she's great. Michaela, you're leaving puddles. We're only 20 minutes in, Michaela. God damn it. Cabin boys should learn to mind their own business. I stand corrected. This is the guy the monster fuckers would be all over. Give him some racist tendencies and a body count in the millions and you got your protagonist for a new children's show about forgiveness. Your father, not the teaching sauce. No. He was more the taking off and never coming back sort. He never got those space cigarettes. 
Good heavens. The star pellucid. It's gone. Supernova. Shouldn't he have known that in advance if he's an astrophysicist? I guess he's not a very good one. All sails secured, Captain. Good man. Now, release them immediately. Aye, Captain. This is the most confused anyone has ever been in these movies. This movie is pro-solar propaganda, and I love it for that. Mr. Arrow was a... <clears throat> fine spacer. Finer than most of us could ever hope to be. Oh god, I'm getting flashbacks to Baldur's Gate 2. Khalid, no! Always hated to lose. <clears throat> Me too! <laughs> See, this is why you should upgrade to something that doesn't use pressurized gas. I'll see they all hang. Doctor, familiar with these? Oh, I've seen, uh, well, I've read them. Oh, don't worry, that happens to a lot of guys. You're the only one here who would know. <laughs> Anything to say about that, McKay? You should wear thigh-high boots. Did you actually aim for that? You know, actually, I did. So you're a gambling man, eh? Oh, don't fuss. It's like bruising. That's all. Cup of tea and I'll be right as rain. She is so cool, they had to nerf her in the final act just to make the heroes look better. Couldn't have a woman take charge in the finale, that'd just be crazy town. Confident women in film? What's that, a kind of sushi? Carbon-based life form, come to rescue me at last! I just wanna hug you and squeeze you and hold you close to me. You almost got us killed, are you brainless? To his treasure, so I help him- and Bravo, and Bravo. These Windows 10 updates get more chaotic every day. Uh, pardon the mess, people. I, you, you'd think in a hundred years I would have dusted a little more off it. <laughs> it's a bit of a fixer-upper. So it's got a few flaws. No. Landlord's got no brain, dear. It gets lots of reindeer. And, and the, the whole, whole damn, damn place, place is covered, covered in moss. moss. I hate you both. How about drinks for the happy couple? Oh, uh, ooh, uh, no. Uh, thank you, we don't drink. And, uh, and uh, we're not a couple. Well, Michaela, looks like she's a filthy straight. Oh god, the betrayal. Yeah, it's such a shame that the fictional cat girl can't top you, isn't it? You don't have to rub it in. Stop giving orders for a few milliseconds and lie still. Very forceful, Doctor. Go on, say something else. Well, she's a sub. This just isn't your day, McKay. Apparently not! Well, that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure that you never see one drabloon of my treasure. He flubbed that line, but he was on a roll, so he just went with it. We must stay together and what? Delta, you have wonderful eyes. She's lost her mind! Exactly, Doctor. Stay here. We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! We're dead! Oh, hey, that was me last year. <gasps> ah! Tell him yourself! You know, at some point, he's got to have to stop screaming and be like, well, this'll be a while. Silver so never managed to figure out how to solve a Rubik's Cube. You give up a lot of things, chasing a dream. Oh god, it's one of those games. Big door. Opening and closing. Holy crap, my transwarp joke was correct. But where'd he stash it all? Where's that plastic treasure? I'm sure that's just a laser trigger of friendship. Flip wanted to make sure that nobody could ever steal his treasure, so he rigged his whole planet to blow higher than a Kalexian kite! Nobody could steal my treasure if I blast it all over the fucking stars. What do you need, Jim? Some way to attach this. All right, stand up, stand up now. I once looked into a blowtorch once. How are you not blind? It was an innuendo, Michaela. Now to the right, to the right! I know, I know, will you just let me try? This is not the time, you two. Oh, and one more thing. As for your dear mother, to rebuild that inn of hers. Oh yeah, I forgot, you're the one who blew up my house. You know, Dilbert, this isn't quite what they meant when they said going out into space would get you some- Ah! Michaela, that really hurt! Do it again.
Thank <laughs> you.